Aloha! And welcome to Tantrum House Studio 808. I'm Amy Eggs. And I'm Psychic Larry. And today we are comparing Scotland Yard and the new version of Scotland Yard, the Sherlock Holmes edition. <laughs> Yard is a one verse many game in which the detectives are trying to catch Mr. X. Each player is given a specific number of the different modes of transportation and a random starting location. They must work together moving about the board in search of their suspect. Mr. X is also given transportation tiles. These serve as clues for the detectives in their search. On turns 3, 8, 13, 18, and 24, Mr. X must surface and reveal his current location. If the detectives do not land on Mr. X's location before turn 24, Mr. X escapes and wins the game. Although the gameplay between the original version of Scotland Yard and the new version of Scotland Yard is basically the same, the artwork definitely changed a lot. Mm -hmm. They changed the artwork in the new Scotland Yard to kind of match the Sherlock Holmes uh, theme. Yep. They also changed some of the modes of transportation. This one has bus and uh, uh, taxi traveling uh, transportation. The other, the new one has carriages and trams. They both have underground. And then they changed up some of the colors on the board and have this fancy little visor <laughs> instead of a hat but other than that they're pretty similar except for the extra game mode that comes in the Sherlock Holmes version. This variation gives each detective an asymmetrical ability and are given bobbies to assist them at lower player counts. Moriarty can commit crimes and use his player abilities at his secret hideouts which include flying off in his hot air balloon. This variation only lasts 16 rounds, so the detectives must work quickly. So I had not originally played this version of a Scotland Yard before uh, until we got the new version mm -hmm. and we ended up playing both to be able to compare the two. I like the gameplay. It is an interesting style of game. If you like that one versus many, it has a lot of deduction in it. As far as like the artwork and stuff, I really like the board of the original version a little bit better. I think it was easier to see the numbers and see the different paths and routes that went on on the board. In the newer version, it's a little more uh, kind of brownish colors and one of the road colors is orange and it's kind of hard to see where all the different roads are. So I kind of like the original board better. What did you think of the artwork? So I grew up, we had New York Chase, with, which is the same game, just with a different map, basically. It's New York instead of Scotland Yard. So I was very familiar with this. The gameplay is the same. Um, they even used Mr. X and had a hat and all the things. I do like the original base game better. Um, even just with the modes of transportation, taxi and bus and underground, they're just more familiar to me instead of tram and carriage. And I kept on getting those two mixed up and confused and I had to look at the call. Okay, what am I doing? I'm, okay, I'm using a carriage now. So that was a little more confusing for me, but I understand they went with the theme. So a taxi and a bus wouldn't make sense in a Sherlock Holmes board game. I kind of like the newer version of Sherlock Holmes. Gameplay better. I think the ver variety of player abilities and the different actions you can do make it a lot more interesting. Uh, I mean, obviously, the game is going to be different every time you play it because mm -hmm. you start in different positions, people go different ways. But I feel like the replayability of the original version is a little more limited. Yeah, I would agree with that. Larry played Mr. X and Moriarty. Um, when we played and I was on the detectives team both both times. I feel like the Scotland Yard version, even though it's shorter, it's harder for Moriarty. 
Possibly. It's also possible that it was my first time playing it and I played it very terribly. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Some of it has a lot to do with chance, like with the hot air balloon ability. It's you're given two options to go to on the map. And if those two options are right next to detectives, then you're kind of stuck. So there are those points in the game where you have to make a decision whether you're going to try to escape it. And instead, I stayed in taxis and moved very short distances and then kind of got cornered. I also wasn't really aware or knew how to use the other modes of transportation. I know there is also the ferry that you can mm -hmm. use, and I didn't know exactly where those went and how those worked. But I really did like the Sherlock Holmes version. Obviously, the theme was kind of a skin on top of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, the original game, but I really did like the different abilities. They kind of gave you different options to play the game. And there are a bunch of different uh, detectives, right, that you can play with. Yeah, each detective, there's uh, five different ones. Yeah, there's five different detectives and they each come with a different ability. So I was Sherlock Holmes and I could, on my turn, ask him what quadrant of the map he was in and he would have to tell me. You can only use it once or twice, depending on your player count per game. But that was super helpful. We used it right off the bat and we were able to hone in on him pretty quick. So those are super helpful. Another thing that they added to the Mr. X or Moriarty character was crimes. So I thought that was kind of cool. It gave you more of a purpose instead of just dodging. Yeah, it gives you another option to win the game. So instead of just surviving, you can try to commit all the crimes. And if you commit all the crimes that you have, then you can win the game that way. Overall, I really liked the gameplay of this one better. I do like the art better of this one, specifically the board. I thought the board was just easier to read, um, easier to understand and follow where all the tracks were going because there are three modes of transportation and they're all different they're all color coded so you have to be able to keep track of which mode of transportation you're using because certain modes can only be used at certain junctions or mm -hmm. certain points or numbers so the old board i think made it a little bit easier to tell the difference between those but the gameplay of the new game in the expansion or the variation where you have the abilities I thought was a lot better. Mm -hmm. Which one did you like better? The nostalgia. The nostalgia for me of this the base game. I you know me, I love my nostalgia. Oh yes, nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia is truly one of the great human weaknesses. Second only to the neck. Well, let us know in the comments if you played either version and if you played both, which one you liked better, uh, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up and follow us on the Tantrum House channel. And we will see you in the next video. Aloha! Aloha. Some of the other modes of transfer shape.